गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी आई थिंक गोवर इज देर आई होप you hear me clearly it's like monologue i am speaking from the side i don't know other side who is hearing who is not uh, i think uh, this is a very important and novel initiative where we are actually looking at water bodies mm-hmm. the the basis of life is water and we are looking at water bodies and looking at water bodies in terms of what is happening there and i i can see Uh, i hope everybody is able to hear if somebody can write in the chat that yes i will be very happy um so basically what is happening is uh, honorable prime minister had said that let us go and visit our water bodies bring it to focus there are so many cultural and traditional water bodies in india but somehow we are not looking at those water bodies but the only way we can bring water bodies to focus is to connect the youth and other community to the water body mainly youth so then we thought why not do a very organized exercise so it was thought and it was formulated that we will bring uh, water bodies uh, to the focus by sending students to the water bodies let them do mm-hmm. paid internships we will fund it also and this student groups can go to water bodies which we are mapping around 300 water bodies we are mapping to the colleges uh, and maybe one of the college there may get one or two or three water bodies we are not giving too many but you can send a group of students there you can bear their expenditure to go there document the water body and we have said that history of the water body what is the spread where does it get water from and if it is a architecture they also look at the architecture part of the water body how is it constructed for example if it is a uh, archaeological site how this pond was constructed what holds the water where does the water come from engineering people can look at the engineering angle and then finally come up with posters and <clears throat> urban plan architecture people can reimagine water bodies as beautiful public spaces and come up with their sketches and their uh, this thing and put up posters now these posters we have requested that ulb should give time for the students to come and present their work about these water bodies to them on a coordinated day that will also be done that will be coordinated now what is expected of these colleges is if the uh, nodal officers actually identify group of students who are interested in doing this as a paid internship in the month of june and july and by july 15th we expect this to be completed that you go do your uh, this thing how many days how far all that is a matter of sincerity which each of the uh, <coughs> people should ensure that they send their students to look at this water bodies and then document the water bodies so uh, the money will flow through a city we are funding 2 lakhs per water body that to cover the expenses of making poster visiting the water body giving the stipend to the students and so on and so forth so it will come in two installments we are giving a city for 1 uh, lakh immediately i mean for each uh, of this uh, the sick and another lakh when you spend and you ask when you submit the receipt again we are you are requested to tweet there will be a twitter campaign of uh, hashtag amrit sarovar where you will be tweeting about this water bodies there's a photographic competition which of our photos with your smartphones you make and send i think we are going to honor at least 25 photographs uh, 10, 10 top 10 posters and top 10 photo top 10 posters and top 10 photographs so to make it very clear what is expected is youth will go under paid internship to the water bodies documented documents as hydrology history geography spread uh, cultural significance like it could be a temple tank it could be a archaeological site and then understand and come up with even interviews with the people living around and then document it as a report and upload make posters about this water body which are visually pleasant uh, how the water body is uh, looking and what is the, how are you reimagining water bodies and uh, third deliverable is you have a photographic competition where best photographs of 10 photographs will be on uh, given some prizes but that's in the twitter campaign all of you can upload the photographs and that is coordinated on dates between april 12th and april 15th the twitter campaign will be will have to be started so kindly these are the three things imagine the for the first time we are requesting you to visit the water body which we have shortlisted uh, um, in your city or nearby place and then work on it so this is what is all about amrit sarovar this is mission amrit sarovar where we are looking at water bodies as our treasures for our golden period from now on till 100th year of uh, indian independence this is all is requested of you i think uh, buddha ji you can take up uh, more and uh, lavanya ji you can answer the questions if anybody has any questions uh, looking at the but i still see i i hope 
there are 75 attendees i hope all the colleges are attending and they will get to know what is this so this yes. is mission amrit sarovar this is connecting students to water bodies you are getting uh, paid internships to go and visit water body and document the water body and make a report and send apart from that you will also click photographs of the water body of different shapes and shapes and days and then send it to the uh, twitter campaign on amrit sarovar hashtag which will start probably you can start it in a coordinated manner from april uh, sorry august first week this whole homework you can do we can have one or two or three follow up meetings as to how the progress is happening the nodal officers can tell us uh, and uh, we are going to tell you the water bodies uh, which are there which are reasonably good shape so that you know when you study you also study uh, how to improve it in terms of its uh, uh, you know uh, how do you reimagine these water bodies simple you going there students going there and looking at water bodies itself becomes a major major uh, initiative uh, and documenting it and then they presented before the municipal authorities and municipal corporation authorities on a coordinated day that will be coordinated by us from here so that you can go and present your work to them there will be a poster exhibition and finally we are also going to honor some best photographs but having your photograph as part of the twitter campaign is going to make all the difference we are looking at our indian water bodies which are indian treasures thank you so much this whole exercise is supposed to be within two months and therefore from now on you have july 15th or 20th to complete all your work and come up with a report and if this works well this is a gateway to getting into government partnership on a regular basis for students if it works well today is water body tomorrow it will be road day after tomorrow it could be anything so if we are able to run this program well i would request the training and nodal pla placement nodal officers to understand this is to get into the government ecosystem and help government do uh, your work very well thank you so much thank you Lavanya, thank you for your time thank you buddha ji thank you for organizing thank this i think there are 78 uh, attendees i'm still worried we're looking at 300 colleges so yeah, yeah. They, we will forward these details to them ma'am uh, uh, thank you for giving this opportunity to our students ma'am and uh, at the same time this is very important exercise for our country because protecting a traditional water bodies for ensuring water security for of cities is very very important so i'm sure uh, all the colleges which we selected i mean as you know we have 56000 plus colleges in india but we selected only this 300 because you know we strongly feel that you have that capability and you are very near to that water body and you have that leadership qualities you know where we can execute this in a successful manner and we request every college to uh, assign one person from your college side who can take things forward and you know who will be responsible for handling these activities we will explain them in detail and we will have one or two training sessions with the ministry as well as with the local uh, administration so that you know the entire program goes in a very smooth way and i'm uh, thankful to uh, tara madam for pro not only pro giving an opportunity we, they are going to get paid for it so this kind of a uh, opportunity is very rare in nature so i thank everyone and, and i request bulges to create one very quick form google form and send it to all the colleges where we will get one uh, person you know who who can handle this and you know whom we can train and then we will take it forward the that uh, that person will identify uh, the students as well as you know maybe students coming from outside maybe he will communicate what to do what not to do i mean there is a standard operating procedure which Lavani Kumarji will explain now. So we will uh, try to, you know, take it forward from there. Thank you very much for giving this opportunity. I pass on to Lavani Kumarji for further uh, discussion. Sir, you are on mute, sir. Yeah, thank you, Buddha Ji. And, um... Good afternoon to all principals and uh, participants from colleges. In addition to what Madam said and Buddha Ji said, I would like to add a few points. One, these water bodies, these 300 water bodies are carefully selected and scrutinized by the state governments. We have received this list from the state governments indicating that these are one of the best they can tell to the rest of the country about their water bodies. Mostly they are of cultural significance, historical significance. Some are with uh, ASI Archaeological Survey of India and some are with the uh, municipal bodies and the state governments. 
so most of you the part the students will all will already have some understanding or idea about these water bodies and their catchment area and the details about that water bodies that make their work much simpler we will be sharing these details to all schools and uh, all colleges in a day or two through aict that one so this one the idea behind this entire initiative is two pronged one one it helps students to discover surrounding areas and make them and uh, test their leadership skills and also make them work in team as a team spirit and second one is that as it is a paid internship students one they will get they will get an opportunity to showcase their skills at an all india level and competing with other states and second one i am sure with the innovative ideas of the school principals and colleges the same work as it will be an excellent documentation about the water bodies i am sure the schools can use it as a project reports or affiliated with their degrees or that one will also help the students to document and completion of their uh, in addition to the what they are doing that one so we will be circulating the modalities very soon in a day or two along with the letter which will have all the details how to approach the municipal uh, municipal uh, local municipalities and how to upload the posters what are the sizes and hashtags which needs to be used simultaneously we will also be writing letters to the municipal bodies indicating informing about your schools or uh, colleges so that they will appoint a nodal person they will communicate the details to you so that you you can go and meet them and explain them and understand what are the findings of what did you find and how you propose to improve the water bodies so uh, needless to say before concluding that the best photographs as madam said the best photographs and posters will be recognized at all india level and the students will get due recognition for their hard efforts this has again this has a two parts one competition encourages the team spirit that means the contribution of team will be rewarded in one way and second category the contribution of individual students will also be recognized so the students will have opportunity to participate both as team and as individuals in the competition so uh, if you if the participants the principals are college from representatives from colleges if they have any questions we will be happy to answer there are two questions in the chat box yeah please and uh, first one is uh, from An anil kumar we, yeah, uh, we have cse ece triple e and me courses only no civil okay. or architecture okay can we participate in this program that means uh, this is uh, for the specific branch only or for can participate of uh, all branch see we are looking we are looking the students from following categories one is uh, the urban designing architecture and also fine arts and engineering so this will have a, a water body is not just a single engineering or urban designing it has a plethora of our multiple ways of looking at a water body and redesigning and presenting it as a cultural locality in the city i am sure your students who are uh, such a uh, in such institution i am sure they will have much more ideas to contribute that one thank you sir and sir other uh, query is from bhavesh patel please is it possible to work in uh, collaboration with other institute in same city so we selected the institute based on ai city recommendation that you are one of the best in your locality so Uh, as the competition will be for actually for the students of your uh, college so i will leave up the students if they want to take help from some other institute i will leave up entirely up to the students how to explore that one and do that one i am sure the professors or lecturers are in your college will be able to provide guidance i request you to please help them to devise a a, a well thought out document for that purpose so next the next query is from uh, vinay mohan das please ma nit you know the water bodies will be assigned or we have to select we, we will indicate the specific water body and for which college is uh, the nearby because this water we have selected the colleges the reputed colleges next to to are in close proximity to the water body ict is suggestion so that the students need not travel very far uh, yeah i think buddha ji wants to add something here uh, one is the distance second is the safety 
so let's say it's a women college you know we don't want them to travel hundreds of kilometers and uh, then you know go to the water body so we have identified the colleges which is stationed near to the water bodies and that to a government college is because we want to give this opportunity to a st our students who are studying in uh, government colleges so yes the, the answer is uh, the colleges got selected based on the proximity of the water body and second one, someone is asking, uh, is this related to Project Nadiko Jano? No, this has nothing to do with it. It's a new initiative. And here you are not only getting a completion certificate, you will get a stipend as an intern that up to 10,000 rupees. I think, uh, sir, one more uh, question I see here. Uh, summer vacation hai, aap deadline mid-August tak extend kar sikte ho gya. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, Butaji, I will add, I will add answer to this question, if you permit. Yeah. See, wo, uh, another query is, I will, uh, another query is when you will get the list of water bodies. The list of water bodies will be shared in a day or two. The, that is the, our maximum three days, that is for sure. And another thing is that this competition, entire competition, the students will get enough time to work on that one. But we are looking towards the mid-August, close to the independence, uh, on the occasion of this Ajadika Amrut Mahotsav. So 75 years of independence anniversary, that one. So the, we are looking the competition time period is 12th August to 15th August. So close to the independence day. So uh, I, I think, that will help uh, address the uh, question raised by uh, professor from uh, iit Roorkee. so an another question how many water bodies or projects we can take yes we, we encourage our college to take one water body so that the teams can focus but if the college finds that they are interested yes they can take two water bodies but again we will indicate that list in that one And, sec and another question, I think we have management course AICT approved. Are we eligible to participate? Maybe Buddha ji can tell that one. Man yeah, yes. I mean, um, why not? Because it's not a, the activities are not creating any rocket or anything. So it's a very easy and simple to do. So I request, you know, every interested student and interested institute is eligible as you are very near to the water body. You know, we have no problem. You please, uh, you are welcome. Sir, and uh, I will take question that how many students can be there? Is it defined or that one? Sir, we will leave up to those number of students to college and students themselves. How many they are comfortable if they want to take one student from one branch of engineering or one branch of architecture or urban designing, they are free to do so. We will leave up to the students entirely up to that one. So, and whether the faculty will be the coordinator, I am not sure of that because we are mainly banking on the students' initiative and little help from the college. So ideally, uh, we trust the report will be submitted to the uh, college professor, professor their their mentor in the college to look and guide them. And finally, the report will be submitted in the first week of August or second week of August to the municipal uh, urban local nearest urban local body. Sir, certainly the student may may I sir if you please, can please. sir certainly the students will require some mentoring. Yeah. A senior professor if he is available for guiding. Otherwise, uh, students can also contact us. Uh, we we are here to guide them. If any, uh, you know, once sir, start, uh, uh, Srinivasji, my request is let us have one session. With, yeah, yeah. Uh, one contact person per college. Usko yes. log pura samjayenge kya hai standard operating procedure. Yeah. What is the outcome of this activity? etc so that he will guide the students i think you yeah. know train the mentor uh, train the trainer itself is easy in this scenario absolutely sir. absolutely we totally agree sir thank you sir, for the whether the students are sponsored for thesis work or dissertation work for their final semester work to whom the fund yeah as i told before that if uh, besides submitting this project report to the uh, urban local body municipality if the class can help use 
the uh, these reports for their final dissertation or it will help add on to them that would be most welcome thing because that will really help the students to address or find solutions to the local water bodies and also help their completion of the study that we will leave up to entirely to the college how to uh, bank on this and take forward that one the funding uh, another question is the funding we will send the um, remit the uh, fund through aict so it will be it will come in two installments so as as before madam had said this will be help students for not only to travel the nearest local body ideally not very far and to help prepare them posters and also for their as a stipend purpose that one so per water body we we plan to give 2 lakh rupees in two installments to the school or the college through aic it is from priyanka kanhare should the document representation be completely done by student or it can be to or student faculty collaboration So, sorry sir and we are not able to hear properly the voice is getting uh, it is broken in between oh, so uh, i will should the documentation and representation hmm. be completely done by student or it can be student faculty collaboration we ideally expect the student or we ideally expect the student because we are banking on the youth and the students that one mainly to help the local body to understand the problems uh, next paper so what the next after and paper. also to raise the community awareness with this initiative then land fund so land allocation jo as per the and whether fund will come in institute account or student maybe buddha ji you can take that one yeah uh, we are planning to uh, send the fund to the institute uh, but give us one day time we are working Uh, we are working on the on the various models uh, but as of now uh, i can say that uh, the fund will come to the institute from there you will distribute to the student so there is a one very can we form a team from various departments and institution uh, yeah Yes, yeah, if you are a university, you can form a team from various departments and uh, institutions. Another question from the NIT Calicut is that whether they will lead to stick one or they have freedom to select our own. I beg to differ with that, sir, because the list was selectively uh, suggested by the your state government, thinking that uh, uh, working that it is a prominent one in the nearby locality. We haven't selected that list. we have just picked the list given by your state governments so i i doubt you have much liberty to do with that and and we are giving the contact details of an official in the ministry also in the email phone number so if you have any queries your students or the uh, the teams have any doubts please feel free to contact us we will be ready to help and and also help connect with the, your nearest urban local body of course we are sharing your details with the urban local body and they will contact you as well so that the work will be completed as per the schedule and without any big problem to your students maybe buddha ji you can answer that project fund should be given in research account or something some professor is asking yeah anand kumar ji we are working on that uh, so give us some time we will get back to you your mail indicates uh, is polytechnic included for project can i assure my students of department of ship technology cochin university and internship sir you can definitely assure you that them that it is an we are looking seriously as an internship program only for the students so now how you will extend that whether the findings and the, their study will be used to uh, to uh, add to the academic program some submission of dissertation like other professor or lecturer indicated that we will leave up to you that one template for poster 
sir we have not thought of any template for the poster so far yeah we will be making soon that details we will be sharing with you that one yeah yeah and yes this can be extended to polytechnic students also so feel free to do it uh, another professor has asked a question spa bopal that should the student submit the report all to report yes sir the report needs to be submitted to the uh, nearest urban local body to which you have tagged the, the basic idea is that the urban local body people may not have sufficient time to explore different dimensions of the water body and its as multiple aspects so i am sure the students with their young fresh brains and innovative ideas with the help of their uh, mentors in college they can do very well so uh, you need to the student teams need to submit that report to the urban local body and with their experience urban local body they will also help students to understand from a different perspective and guide them in submitting that report that one so i think we have answered almost all questions yeah another professor asked when we will get second installment that month so sir uh, that will be very soon after releasing the first installment there will be much gap between the two because the time frame we are looking is short so let me assure you that there will not be much delay between the first and second ones yeah another question was can we form a team of students from yes sir you can uh, yes ma'am you can very well do that one mr buddha chandrasekhar from aict has also indicated that a university has much liberty to form and students can join with other departments in the university and 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 then deliver the report and polytechnic is included yes very well that is that question was already uh, answered and definitely we are sharing a letters to the colleges through aict that will indicate the complete details of the officials and their phone number so that email so that they can contact <clears throat> thank everyone uh, for attending and uh, i request vipin ji to send this recorded version to all 300 uh, colleges we have identified and create one google sheet where they can uh, give their contact of information of uh, one of the professor who can be in charge uh, for this and uh, we will train them and then we will take it for i thank everyone for attending and uh, i thank uh, mahava for giving this opportunity to all our uh, government college students thank you very much namaste thank you thank you buddha ji and yes, your team and tcpo and thank you colleges yes, thank you so much thank you we look forward to closely working with you in this uh, program thank you have a good day to you all you too thank, thank you, you. thank you